Hello beauties, Lori Hill here. And I have not done a video tutorial for you in a while. And I was watching a digital marketer webinar on Pinterest this morning and it inspired me to create some custom uh, covers for my Pinterest board, something I've been wanting to do for a while and just haven't gotten it done. So as I am in the process, I thought I would show you how to create your own custom covers um, while I'm creating mine. You can see here the few that I've finished already. So what we're going to do is you can do this for free using the website um, canva.com. So just go over to www.canva.com and they do not currently, they have a lot of templates already made for you which is so great when you're in a hurry and trying to get stuff on your blog but they do not have a um, Pinterest board cover template yet. So we are going to go over to my notes here and I've got the size for you. Pinterest custom board covers. So you put in 217 by 147 in pixels and click design. And my internet's a little slow, so please bear with me here. And you have just this blank template. So what I did was I chose the polka dot background and then put in my um, I keep a on my sticky notes I keep all the color codes for the website for my website at immensely.social.com here and so I wanted to use the gold so I just went over and copied that and when you click this plus button here you can put in the color that you want and you can just hit your space bar and it'll change it to that color so that's what I did but you have a lot of backgrounds you can use if you want to um, use pictures you can click the search and you've got icons and shapes if you click on photos you've got photos here some of them are free uh, if you're not familiar with Canva some of them you will pay one dollar each for you can even come here to uploads and upload your own if you have your own stock photos um, but I wanted to keep mine simple so we're just gonna go with that I wanna add a little something so I went to the search and lines and I added an arrow which is trying to load here. Um, you can see here, let's go to, these are ones I've already created. Since that's taking a while to load, I'll just show you. I chose the arrow, and again, I went back to my sticky note file and found the co code for the pink that's on color that's used on the website for the arrow. And then I always like to use Playfair Display, so that's what I used for the text, again, to stay consistent with my branding for the site. You can see in my Pinterest here the ones that I've completed so far. And you want to make sure you're happy with your board names for you design covers for them. And I don't know if you're, if you're familiar with my Pinterest before, I had Design It Lovely as the title of this board, but when you type design into... Um, Pinterest design ideas is what comes up first so I decided to change that. Pinterest acts as a search engine so you want to um, name your boards after something you know you, you think it's fun to get all clever and cutesy with the names but it's actually better for people to find your boards if you name them um, something that you can see is already being searched for. So type something similar into Pinterest and you can see a list of what comes up. Okay, you'll know better of what to name your boards so that they're um, more search optimized. Here you can see I have some that aren't finished. So I'm going to head on back over to Canva. And what I love about Canva over PicMonkey, because you know that I love using PicMonkey also, but with Canva, you have your design already here, and you can just edit it. So you kind of have your template already. So all I'm doing is going in and changing the name. It's already set to the font. Um, so the next one was Work From Home. So I'm just going to type in Work From Home. And I have, we're going to have to resize this a little bit for that one. Okay. 
and that's it and then I wait for it to save and I download it as an image and I've already made a file here called Pinterest board, custom board covers so I am just going to export this to my desktop and I'm gonna rename this work from home custom board cover save and there it is and so then I'm gonna go back into Pinterest and what I'm doing is I am copying the board URL and then I go here to the little plus sign upload a pin I'm gonna choose that image that I just created to my desktop and then I am gonna put the actual board as the source for the description I am just going to use the hashtag work from home and then we want to put this on the work from home on my work from home board and we're gonna put pin it and so my internet's slow like I said so it's not really showing up but if I go here to edit board and I can go right here to change cover and it's gonna be the first one that came up and you can see that it's perfectly sized I'm gonna click save changes and then save changes again so if we go back here to my Pinterest page, you can see right there is our new pin. Now how easy is that? Canva makes it so easy to do this. I will have more details in the blog post, more directions for you, but I hope this inspires you to kind of customize your Pinterest and um, with your brand, using the colors from your website, get that branding really optimized. You can see in the first three here that actually have to do with the Immensely Social blog, Immensely Social TV, and our Etsy shop. I've used our Immensely Social logo and I did that by going to um, the uploads and we have our logo already on here and so you can see if I click on that then the actual um, logo comes up and you can use your own logo like I said, you could use pictures as the background, um, whatever you would like. This just makes it really easy. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this idea and this video. And uh, you, you want to get some more traffic to your Pinterest, feel free to tag your new Pinterest page so we can see how you created your own custom boards in the comments. I would love to see your designs. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Let me see those creations. Talk to you soon. Lots of love. This is Lori Hill with ImmenselySocial.com.